Good afternoon. I am Escondido Police Chief Ed Varso. Just after 7 a.m. this morning, our communication center received reports of an adult white male hitting cars with a metal pole in the area of 2nd Avenue and Broadway in the city of Escondido. Shortly thereafter, an officer located the male behind the business. At the time, he was holding this two foot long metal pry tool, similar to what is used in the automotive industry. During that encounter, the male was not displaying any threatening behaviors and he was not posing a physical threat to police or the public. The officer attempted to de-escalate the situation by communicating with the male and trying to convince him to drop the tool. However, the male would not comply with the officer's directions and ran away. The officer remained on scene to speak with the reporting party in order to establish what crime, if any, had occurred. A few minutes later, a second officer located the subject walking in the street at 2nd Avenue and Broadway. This time, as the officer exited his vehicle, the male immediately advanced on the officer while holding the same metal tool in a threatening manner. The officer gave multiple commands to drop the tool, as well as several use of force warnings. The male continued to advance on the officer who was backing away, and he was ultimately shot. Additional officers arrived within seconds and immediately began rendering first aid. The male was transported to a local hospital where tragically he died of his injuries. The officers involved in this incident had activated their body-worn cameras. As soon as possible, we will be releasing portions of those videos to provide the public with a better understanding of what happened. At this time, an investigative team is conducting witness interviews and processing physical evidence. The investigative process includes an independent review by the San Diego County District Attorney's Office, the U.S. Attorney's Office, and the FBI to ensure the officer's actions are reasonable under the law. The incident will also be reviewed internally to determine whether officers followed department policies. While we are not releasing the man's name at this time, pending notification of family, he is well known to the Escondido Police Department. Since 2002, he has been booked into county jails 188 times for violent assaults on police and the public, for parole violations, drug charges, vandalism, and a host of other property crimes. Additionally, our psychiatric emergency response team has attempted on numerous occasions to place him in mental health support system without success. In fact, just this year, we have already responded to over 20 calls for service involving this individual. Our department is committed to protecting the community and preserving life. Officers successfully de-escalate dangerous encounters on a daily basis, and we do so for the purposes of doing everything possible to preserve life. You have my commitment that a complete and accurate investigation will be completed. We will be transparent in sharing the facts in the body cam video as the investigation progresses. Thank you.